I filmed the video and it didn't have any sound. So I'm back with more books that I bought. These I bought just today. I picked up six books tonight for $1 a piece at the Dollar Tree. And I have to give a big, gigantic shout out thank you to the paper to the paperback junkie for turning me on to the Dollar Tree as a possible source of books. Hello. They have them and they are a dollar, as promised. And five out of six of these puppies are hardcovers. So Hopefully you have a Dollar Tree near you, or at least a comparable dollar store that also has books, and you should scooch right on over there right now and get yourself some cheap books. So I just want to show you what I managed to pick up for $6.36. Thank you, sales tax. Hopefully you'll be pretty impressed. First we have Cedars. This book is by A.J. Colucci, and it is most definitely the strangest book that I bought. I, I picked it up first, and um, probably just because the cover looked so chilling and thrillerish, but basically it's about a biologist who dies, um, and so some of his family members and a former professional colleague go to his property on a remote Canadian island because who doesn't want to go to a remote Canadian island and start sifting through his stuff. They discover that the good old biologist has discovered a way or developed a way for plants to communicate with humans. What? Totally weird. No clue if I'm going to like this book, but for a dollar... I'm willing to give it a shot. Next, believe it or not, I have a Tess Gerritsen novel called Die Again. This is about a detective, two partners, two detective partners. Anyways, it's about detectives trying to solve a murder like a lot of the books that I read are. So I can't say that it's really, you know, <laughs> way different than the other stuff that I read. But it was a Tess Garrison book, who is a pretty recognizable author, for a dollar. And according to this little thingy right here, it says it's a hit TV series on TNT. Now, I don't know because I don't watch TNT, but the other fascinating and odd thing about this book is that it has no reviews on Amazon. Now, I'm not sure how you can be this author and on this TV channel and not have a single review on Amazon, but it's intriguing, to say the least. And I hope it's not because it sucks. Next is House of Echoes. This book is by Brendan Duffy, and it is about a family who inherits a village in upstate New York. Okay, I'll stop being dumb. Uh, this book it reminds me a lot of The Shining because it is about a family with a author husband, husband father, who's an author, and you know he's stuck in a rut. His wife has lost her banking job. They have two young children, and he has inherited a village in upstate New York. So they figure this is just the, you know, re invention of their lives that they need so they take off thinking only good things are to come turns out there's some paranormal activity and some crazy general spookiness going on in this village like i said the blurb makes it sound very shining-esque we'll just have to see the next book is called night blindness this book is by susan strecker it's about a woman who experienced something horrific and devastating in, in her younger years and thus ran away from her hometown. Now she ended up resettling in, I believe, Santa Fe and marrying a free-spirited artist. But when her father is diagnosed with a brain tumor, the woman goes back to her hometown and is sort of forced to confront everything that she ran away from. The teaser behind the book is that we don't know if the woman is going to stay in her hometown or if she's going to return to the life that she built in New Mexico. Personally, I like New Mexico. But I like New England too. I mean, 
Second to last, <laughs> we have Seeker, and this book is by Arwen Elis Dayton, I think that's how you say it. Arwen Dayton, for sure. It's this middle part that's kind of screwing me up a little bit. But this is book one of three in Young Adult about a girl whose destiny it is to become a Seeker. And she's really excited to fulfill that destiny until it happens and then she realizes that being a seeker isn't all it's stacked up to be and in fact nothing is as it seems including her family and her boy crush man friend I, I this is different than what I would read not necessarily any more different than cedars but um, I was very attracted to the cover <clears throat> I don't know if you can tell, but it has a sword sort of imprinted in to the book. And look at that beautiful silver spine. I mean, it's gorgeous. And this is Arwen. Look at Arwen. She's adorable. She's like the cutest little thing ever. So I can't wait to read this book. Again, it's different than what I normally read, but that's not a bad thing. Lastly, get ready to put on your impressed pants because I got Paris, the novel, for one dollar folks this is the most well-known book that I picked up tonight and when I say well-known we're talking thousands of reviews on Amazon most of them positive I think it's got a four and a half star rating or pretty damn close I don't like historical fiction I don't but I've heard really great things about this book and not just on Amazon or Goodreads but from the booktube community and I love Paris. I've been to Paris. I already have got some Paris history under my belt. So I'm going to give it a shot. I can't promise that I will make it through it or that I will enjoy every second of it because history is just so not my thing. But like I said, this book is widely popular and I'm so stoked that I got it for a dollar. For a dollar, I'm more than willing to try it. And given this book's reputation, I could probably take it to my used bookstore and get more than a dollar for it. So I'm thinking this was a good investment. This is my investment piece for the evening. I might make 50 cents or a dollar off of it. Who knows? There's a bug. There's a bug. I think it was Books and La La that talked about this book. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. So anyways, this is my $6.36 Dollar Tree book haul. Thank you again to the Paperback Junkie. Please check out his Dollar Tree video that I've linked down below. He's hilarious. His wife is hilarious. And if you're not subscribed to them or him, shame on you. He is also a writer, by the way. So that's all I have for you guys today. I did also film a June Amazon haul, which was shameful absolutely shameful so make sure you check that out if you've heard about the books read the books or have questions about the books that I mentioned today leave all of that goodness down in the comments below give me a thumbs up if you like this video please consider subscribing blah 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 you know I love you guys and I will see you all very soon